An extreme sport is defined as a sport or activity that has a high degree of physical danger or risk associated with it. Though most sports can be physically harmful, extreme sports usually involve a high amount of speed, height, or intense physical exertion. For these reasons, these sports are reserved for only the biggest thrill seekers and professionals. Let's take a look at 10 of the greatest sports that fit this definition. For number 10, we have the exhilarating sport of hang gliding. How it works is the pilot is suspended from their glider and leaps from the top of a hill with the wind traveling towards them to allow liftoff. From there it can be up to hours of soaring through the air while gaining thousands of feet of altitude from thermal updrafts. Some are even skilled enough to perform a few aerobatics for an even bigger thrill. However, the sport can also be very calming if you prefer that style and don't mind heights, and with the correct knowledge and training the dangers aren't too significant. Next up we have caving which is more of a technical challenge and tests the claustrophobia of anyone who tries it. Conditions can vary with some caves being more difficult than others. Some might say that caving wouldn't qualify as an extreme sport due to its slower pace. However, there are still risks like getting trapped and the state of being in a dark place with small spaces would make most people feel a bit threatened, especially without the right knowledge. At number 8, we have another sport related to caves, however it has a different approach. Cave diving is underwater diving in caves that are filled with water. This is one of the more dangerous types of diving because if something goes wrong you can't always swim vertically to safety, meaning you could be stuck without oxygen. To add, visibility can be almost non-existent in some cases, especially when down thousands of feet into a cave. However, like anything, with enough knowledge and training, cave diving can be a thrilling sport open to many. And at number 7 we have an extreme sport go-to for many, downhill mountain biking. The beauty with mountain biking is that you can gradually increase your comfort level over time instead of jumping right into the extreme risk zone. Trails range from beginner straight downhills to narrow and steep proline ratings with severe risks. However, for any stage of mountain biking, it's definitely a sport to try for those pursuing an adrenaline rush. And number 6 goes to base jumping, which is similar in a way to skydiving except one would jump off any fixed surface instead. Base is an acronym for building, antenna, span, and earth, so you would jump off the structure, whatever it is, and parachute in time to safely land on the ground. The thought of this one to someone fearful of heights is enough to get the palms sweating for sure, and the sport is considered so dangerous it is banned in some countries as an activity. Number 5 is for downhill longboarding. If you've seen any footage of this before, you know how insane the sport can be. Downhill longboarders often take steep, winding roads which allow the rider to reach extremely high speeds. If you started to get the speed wobbles or didn't manage to turn in time, the resulting crash wouldn't be a pretty sight. However, that doesn't stop many skilled riders from taking the risk in pursuit of that thrill. For number 4, we have a climbing sport in the form of ice climbing. This sport consists of scaling frozen waterfalls and cliffs, usually with ice axes. The dangers come from falling due to an unsecured rope system, ice chunks falling, avalanches and more. Ice climbing differs from other climbing sports in the way that it's typically much less predictable, providing an extra risk-taking element for those interested. Next at number 3 we have the sport of free diving which I covered in another video showcasing the top achievements in this field. Anyway, free diving is the extreme sport of diving in water with no oxygen devices. There are many disciplines of free diving but the most publicized type is the no limits apnea discipline of diving. One of the dangers associated with this sport is the immense water pressure which can cause decompression sickness and another danger would be the obvious lack of oxygen. Many have passed away in this sport so anyone trying should proceed with caution. The second spot goes to wingsuit flying. Now this is technically a type of base jumping, however I made it separate as the wingsuit makes the sport a bit different and usually the risks are larger. Either way, wingsuit jumping is one of the most thrilling sports that someone can try. You would jump off a cliffside and let the wingsuit open up to glide through the air and steer yourself until finally opening your parachute to land to safety. The gliding mechanism is the advantage with this sport compared to regular base jumping as jumpers can achieve the maximum hang time in the air before they have to deploy their parachute, allowing for the feeling of flying. However, things can go wrong if people misjudge any distance or if something unpredictable happens, which has unfortunately resulted in some fatalities. And finally at number 1 we have arguably the most insane and impressive extreme sport on this list, free solo climbing. This involves climbing rocks without the use of a safety harness or any other safety equipment. I also made a couple of videos on this so be sure to check them out if you're interested. Free soloists will scale thousands of feet on rock faces with very small places to grab onto. One of the biggest free solo feats was Alex Honnold's climb of El Capitan in 2017 which was a shocking 2,900 feet or almost a kilometer in height, all without the use of any safety equipment. This sport takes a special type of person and is only reserved for only the most experienced rock climbers.
As always, thank you for watching and please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more extreme sport content and leave any video suggestions you may have in the comments. I'll see you on the next one.